Hey guys, okay, so today we're going to discuss about top 10 incubating CNCF projects. Okay, first we will understand what is CNCF, Cloud Native Computing Foundation. It's a home to many open source projects that are essential to the cloud native computing. These projects are critical to the development of modern, scalable, resilient cloud applications. So in this video, we will take a closer look at some of top incubating CNCF projects. Number 10, Thanos. Thanos is open source project that provides a highly available, scalable, multi-tenant Prometheus setup with long-term storage capabilities. Number nine, it's Cortex. We have Cortex, a horizontally scalable, highly available, and multi-tenant Prometheus as a service that enables user to store, query, visualize the Prometheus metrics, which is similar to Grafana. Number eight, Harbor. Harbor, an open source cloud native registry that stores, signs, and scans container images for vulnerabilities. Number seven, it's Cube Edge. It's an open source Kubernetes edge computing platform that extends the capability of the cloud to edge devices. Number six, it's Cross Plane. It's an open source Kubernetes add-on that provides a control plane for infrastructure resources such as database, message queues, and caches. Number five, it's a Dragonfly. We have a Dragonfly, an intelligent P2P based image and file distributed system, and that supports high speed, secure content distributions. Number four, Tinkerbell, a bare metal provisioning engine that automates the provision of physical missions, simplifies the deployment of Kubernetes cluster. Number three, it's Open EBS. We have Open EBS, an open source storage platform that provides persistent storage for containerized application. Number two, it's DEX, D-E-X, a federated identity system management platform that provides a standard-based way to manage user identity across multiple systems. And we have a Falco as number one, an open source cloud native runtime security project that detects and alerts an abnormal application behavior and provide insight into an application runtime security posture. That's all I have. Uh, if you like this video, please hit the like button. And if you like it, and please subscribe my channel. Uh, thanks for your support. We'll see you on the end of the video. Thank you so much.